mixing materials solids liquids and gases label the things in the picture as solid a liquid or gas all the objects or things in the picture from 1 to 8 have been labeled as solid liquid or gas sort these things into solid liquid and gas groups also add another material to each group there are six objects that is a brick shampoo oil rice oxygen and air solid means brick rice and stone these are solids liquid is shampoo oil water in gases comes oxygen air and carbon dioxide stone water and carbon dioxide are the three extra materials that were added to each group use these words to finish the sentences liquid and solid a solid stays the same shape unless it is compressed stretched twisted or bent a liquid changes shape easily use these words to finish the sentences carbon dioxide solid gases oxygen nitrogen and liquid humans breathe a gas called oxygen vinegar is a liquid bicarbonate of soda is a solid mixing vinegar and bicarbonate of soda makes a gas called carbon dioxide air is a mixture of gases most of the air is a gas called nitrogen Draw lines to match each mixture to the sieve that can be used to separate it. The first one, that is the soil and roots, it can be separated using the third sieve from the picture. The soil will go through the holes, but the roots will not. Rice and sand can be separated using the first sieve. The sand will go through the holes, but the rice will not. Rice and beans can be separated using the second sieve. From the pictures the rice will go through the holes but the beans will not Zara has drawn two drawings or diagrams to show how she separated a mixture of sand and rocks look at Zara's diagrams diagram 1 and diagram 2 she has made some mistakes she has not labeled all the equipment and all the materials in each diagram some of her diagram is not neat now answer these questions what mistake has she made in diagram one she has not labeled the rocks she has labeled the sand and the cup but not the rocks what three mistakes has she made in diagram two zara has not labeled the sand or the sieve and that her drawing of the sand on the plate is not neat also her drawing of the sieve is not neat dissolving add the missing words to these sentences use the following words dissolve soluble insoluble transparent and insoluble sand is insoluble in water salt is insoluble in cooking oil salt is soluble in water the more water there is the more salt can dissolve when a solid dissolves in water the solid cannot be seen but the water is still transparent these children are doing an investigation that is unsafe circle three things that is dangerous write two things these children should not do the three things that are dangerous have been circled in the picture and the two things that the children should not do are do not use hot water without the supervision of an adult do not taste the dissolved sugar the other two could be do not put the glass or equipment on the edge of the table because it might fall do not spill the water Zara and Marcus have investigated a science question. 
Does more sugar dissolve when the water is warmer? Here are the test results. The temperature of water has been given in column 1, that is cold, warm or hot. The number of teaspoons of sugar that is dissolved in each of the water temperatures have been given in the second column, that is 1, 3 and 5. How many teaspoons of sugar dissolved in warm water? 3 teaspoons. How many more teaspoons of sugar dissolved in hot water than the cold water? The number of teaspoons dissolved in hot water, that is 5, minus number of teaspoons dissolved in cold water, that is 1. You need to subtract both of them and you will get the answer, that is 4. Does more sugar dissolve in water when it is warmer? Yes. Marcus and Zara were doing a fair test. What was the one thing they changed? The water temperature was changed. What was the one thing they measured? How many teaspoons of sugar was to be dissolved? Write one thing they kept the same to make their test fair. The amount of water was the same. The same solid was used throughout the experiment that is sugar. The same liquid that is water. Stir each the same number of times. Filtering. Write the correct sentence for each picture. There are three sentences and you need to write the correct one for each of the pictures. The first one is put the filter paper into the funnel. Second is put a cup under the funnel. The third is pour the mixture into the filter paper. Sophia, Marcus and Zara are filtering dirty water. They all make different predictions. Zara says the water will be less dirty when it comes out. Marcus says the water will still be very dirty when it comes out. And Sophia says the water will come out clean. This is what happened. The water came out less dirty. Was Sophia's prediction correct? No. You know that because the water was still dirty. Was Marcus' prediction correct? No. The water was cleaner when it came out, whereas Marcus told it will still be very dirty. Was Zara's prediction correct? Yes. Can these mixtures be separated using a filter? The first mixture is water and sugar. They cannot be separated using a filter because sugar is soluble in water. That means the sugar dissolved in water. And you cannot separate a dissolved solid from the liquid. The second one is vinegar and salt. You cannot separate it because again salt is soluble in vinegar. So you cannot separate the already dissolved salt from vinegar. Cooking oil and salt. Yes, you can separate it because salt is insoluble in oil. So it won't dissolve in the oil. Separating materials from rocks. Complete the grid using the answers to your questions below. Name three fuels. Oil, petrol, natural gas. And there are more written. What material do fuels contain? Fuels contain carbon. What happens when fuels are burned? When fuels are burned, a gas called carbon dioxide is made. Give an example of humans burning fuel. Humans burning fuel such as driving a car, heating a house or cooking food. In these all activities, fuel is burnt. Why is global warming a problem? Global warming is a problem because it causes the earth to get warmer. Here's a short passage. Cobalt is a metal used to make batteries for mobile phones and electric cars. Cobalt ore is mined in a country called the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa. Many people who live there are very poor. Children work in the mines to make money to live. They are not paid very much for their work. 
the mine is not safe for the children because of which they can get hurt and can become ill some children who work in the mine are only seven years old they break the rocks to separate the cobalt ore from the rock some people who make mobile phones and electric cars try not to buy cobalt from mines that use children others do not find out where the cobalt they buy come from what kind of material is cobalt cobalt is a metal we got to know this from the passage what is cobalt used for cobalt is used for making batteries how do they separate the cobalt from the rocks they separate the cobalt ore from the rocks by breaking the rocks why do children work in the mine the children work in the mines to earn money to live because they are poor what could people who buy mobile phones or electric cars do to help people who buy mobile phones or electric cars they could help by buying these products from people who do not use cobalt from mines where children work or buy phones or electric cars that do not have cobalt itself